Hello and welcome back to part 6 of the Arrow Gun Boat from Amante. So as you've seen since the last part I finished both of the cup rails, both sides and uh, one word of advice. It is very important to uh, wet or to uh, let soak them, uh, the strips in water as long as possible. The best thing what you can do is steam it or cook it. So use hot water that makes it more soft because uh, uh, from experience I would say that this uh, radius are the maximum maximum what the strips can do after this it will possibly crack anyway so in this part we will try to finish up the uh, last part of the uh, hull that means the bow spread the rudder and the hatches in the center and uh, let me see what else there are small parts to do so we will start with the rudder and how we do this we will see in the following video okay so you saw already in the picture that we have to make our own hinges for the rudders and uh, not like in the other kits they're already pre-bended and pressed and whatsoever and drilled and okay so we need for the materials are 2 mm copper strip and uh, if you check your materials uh, this may look like a, a 2 mm copper strip but actually it's a 3 mm copper strip and the other copper strip uh, we don't have to talk about this because this is far away from 2 mm anyway so I uh, further in the instruction and uh, checked where I have to use other uh, uh, copper parts and basically it's only on the cannons so I don't need the whole part for the cannon so I'll cut uh, around uh, six centimeters from this so uh, I think that will be enough to make uh, six hinges uh, and I will slim them down to 2 millimeters. So you can see the rudder is also very functional in both sides. The only thing what I had to do is to cut a little opening on the gratings there on the back. Uh, that's because maybe the distance between the rudder and the uh, keel is a little bit too much because of the bending of the hinges. Anyway, uh, it is really no problem and it looks very natural uh, so the next thing is what you may will notice in the instruction uh, 
this part has to be fabricated and if you open if you open your kit uh, you will find this uh, plastic part that's the rudder horn I think it called and uh, very easy to install uh, but I will not install it right now because as you know we have to handle this model and uh, this is really easy to knock off uh, so that will be one of last of the last parts I will install. So next thing what we will do is to uh, finish the uh, bow spread and how we do this I will show you in the next video. So we have finished the rudder and also the parts for the bow spread and uh, one thing to say, you could see already in the video that I slimmed down the end so that it, the shape will fit to the curve of the hull, that's all you have to do and additional I make a groove, a round groove what fits perfectly to the bow spread. So the next thing is, or the next step in the instruction is, we have to make a, a, a whip. I think it, I believe it called whip uh, around the bow spread. And for this, so you you need uh, rope or yarn or twine or whatever is the correct translation. And it says 0.5 millimeters. Okay, so you got already uh, a whole bunch of uh, rope in the kit. And the best thing is what uh, what you can do is to uh, mark this uh, each of this back with the size because it can be easily exchanged. So you have a 1.3 millimeter, uh, 0.5, and two bucks of 0.10 millimeters, and to have one roll of 0.5 millimeters. So there's this one and this one the same size. Uh, 
easy to understand because this box have uh, uh, an item number in the uh, uh, parts list and this knot is only as 0.5 millimeter yarn uh, and this one we use to uh, make the whip on the bowsprit. So I made around five loops uh, around the um, bowsprit and the last parts, not the last parts, but the next parts we have to add uh, are these braces we made before and very simple, nothing to uh, taking care of. Oh, nothing special, just a little bit blue and uh, that's all. When this is dry we make uh, nails on the end, on the wider end we make two nails, on the, end, the slimmer end we make only one nail. That's what also the instruction says. And then there comes the last and for me the most uh, complicated part. And what, that, what this is, you will see in a few seconds. So the bow spread is also finished. As you can see, I put the nails on the side and I also made these little great things in the front. Uh, as you can see in the pictures before, this was a really difficult part to make because the first rows or the first two, left and right, uh, I put, uh, I glued in standing with excess, and after the glue dried, I snipped off the, the ends and then I sanded this flush. The second and the third are longer. There was not really a problem anymore. Because the first one, if uh, I sliced it inside, the, the, the uh, strip got into pieces. So that didn't work out. So I make them standing and the rest laying. So the next thing is, and also the last, what we're doing in this part is the three hatches in the center. I think there's nothing really complicated to do. Um, first we have to make the framework in one by three millimeters uh, then we have to fit in the uh, one millimeter plywood templates after this we plunk the uh, the lid of these uh, uh, hatches and last we have to round the edges so that it will be uh, a little bit of half round and then we fit on uh, the eye bolts and with this it's finished okay so the hatches are also now done and uh, you see that i put also the rings on it because i made a rough count on the parts and i believe that is enough so uh, i think that the instructions uh, has forgotten to put this part on Anyway, so in the next part we will uh, stain now all the uh, unpainted or unstained uh, wood and also will seal it and we also will work on the two rotating cannons, what is the trademark for this uh, Arrow gun boat and so stay tuned for the next part.